What's up, guys? Welcome back. All right, so we're getting ready to move in to some Wednesday scrims. Of course, for the first matchup, we're heading straight on over in towards the Vikendi map. So, of course, we've got 25 teams once again in the lobby. We'll see if everyone makes it in on time. So far, it seems like we've got about two teams not in the lobby just yet. But, of course, the game is about to get started. So, of course, as per usual, give us your predictions in the chat. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out across the games here for today. Of course, as I mentioned, the first one up being that Fikendi one. Next up, we're heading over into Miramar. And then finally, we're coming back in to the Orangel map. So, three matches lined up here for this evening. And of course, just waiting for this one to get underway so we can jump in and get straight into the, the, <laughs> into the action. There we go. But of course, if you have not yet already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that button down below. Turn on the notifications. And of course, be sure to leave us a like alongside your comment. Well, yeah. So now we just wait to see. Are they going to push the start button on time? Yes. There we go. Three people <laughs> didn't download the map. Yeah. It's not like the update came out very recently. So, yeah. All right. But anyway. All right, we're getting ready to move on into that. And of course, big shout out going over towards the Tonino Lamborghini energy drink. So pretty soon, you'll see some of them. All right, in the meantime, let's head on over into the match and see which teams we actually have in the lobby. So you can give me those predictions. Because for the time being, you don't really know who's in. All right, so as you can see, of course, the players here from the Re Respected team over in slot 1. We've got the team from Resurrection over in slot 3. We've got the team from Agent over in 4. Mafia over in 5. Kill or Die in 6. We've got the Rotators in 7. The Death, the death Row team over in slot 8. We've got the players from Genocide over in 9. We've got a Halo over in 10. Final 4 with only, well, 1. In slot 11, we've got the players from the Natural Killers over in slot 12. Over in 13, we've got the Jin Churiki team. We've got the players from Unknown Sovereigns over in 14. In 15, we've got the Wolfpack in 15, 16 rather. We've got the players from Ammo in 17. We've got the Gucci Kings, of course, over in 19. We've got the, the Psycho Gaming team, the Four Horsemen over in slot 20. In 21, we've got Sicario. Over in 22, we have the Masala Bomb team. Skuku in 23. TK, TKB Embosses over in 24. And then, of course, the Victrix Mortalis team over in slot 25. That flight path are coming in from Kantra Hot Springs region and heading across straight over towards the northern part, crossing right over Cosmodrome. So very, well, easterly flight path for this round. But, of course, let's see where these teams are going to be going. And of course, well, hoping for a bit of an aggressive shift coming in on Vikendi. As you know, that first initial zone formation is, of course, usually pretty, pretty aggressive. So let's wait and see. And hopefully that is exactly what we're going to be getting. Nice little addition there just to mix things up. And of course, get the day started. So now that you've seen all the teams, give us your predictions. Give us your shout outs and let us know which teams you are here to root for of course quite a few shout outs already coming in for the respected teams there for res so let us know you can see a few teams actually are starting to head off over towards that western side a nice little split up that we've got here a few teams heading east a few teams heading west of course now we just wait to see where they're going to be touching down and that zone is about to start forming let's see where it takes us hoping for an aggressive shift and drum roll, please. This is going to be a long drum roll. <laughs> Where's the zone? Come zone. The players are going to get stuck into the action already before we have that zone. Come on. There goes the first few shots already taking off. Ooh, Mafia pushing in right over towards the players here from Respected. In comes that first zone. Five minutes on the clock, though. Ooh, we can see them starting to push on in. Wolf only running around in his underwear. Not the best setup to be in on the bikini map. But either way, out he comes. Beast now jumping out the door. Putting those shots in. We've got Zion now moving up right along the remainder of the Mafia team. So two players remain for respected. 
Mafia, from what we can see, they're also sitting on two. Ooh, a little bit of a slow reaction. East now moving up as well. Got Ash now moving up alongside Show there. Let's see, will they be able to get these hits in? Seems like a pretty decent start here for Respected, though. Just had a team off in the distance as well within rend range. A little bit of pre-fire in anticipation of that position. But you can see, of course, that aggressive shift that we were hoping for. It's taking its position all the way over towards that northwestern side. So definitely going to be quite interesting to see what these teams are going to be doing with that zone. Of course, how far off to that side they're going to be rotating. Will we see any teams moving up to that far edge? Or will the teams just hold on to that easterly side of the garden zone? You can see Mafia now just waiting. They're trying to see if they can figure out where Beast is. Not pushing up aggressively just yet. Weighing up the options. Waiting to see if they can hear any of those footsteps. Ooh, there we go. Beast now starting to rotate up. The Ash and Show now moving up. Of course, the players here from Rez already sitting on two kills. The Rotators also now getting a quick few knocks in as well, as you can see the kill feed. Let's see, will Beast be able to get these hits going? Come on, they're so close. They're so close. See one of the players there from the Jinchiriki team off in the distance. The rotator still just putting in those hits. Just lighting up the kill feed. That of course being with the players there from the four horsemen. Ooh, a little bit of pre-fire coming in there from Beast now, of course, disclosing his position in the same time. Here they come rushing on in. Mafia now pushing up. They've caught a little bit of a sniff of his position. See Hunter now also putting in a quick few shots there as well. Up they come. Ooh, beautiful play by Beast. Oh, the first one gets the clutch though. Well played. There we go. So the play is there from Rez. Finishing it off with just one player, but the play players here from the Rotators now going head to head with the Four Horsemen. And of course, getting sent into the lobby. Up comes a bit of a third party here from the Agent team. 007, the last remaining hopeful for his team, is of course now getting pushed by three players moving in from the Four Horsemen. But the Masala Bomb team, of course, just holding up over there towards the east southeast. Oxygen are getting ready to move on up. Just managing to sneak right by, but that mate kind of backfires. Not going where he had planned. Turning his back to the action ever so slightly. The oxygen just waiting there. Ooh, beautiful headshot. Oh, he's gonna get more. No, he misses the hit and Hunter sends him right back. Right, so we're now sitting on 19 teams. Got a little bit of action over here in Castle. You see the players, are, of course, from Psycho now moving up. Oh, Logic putting in quite a few hits as well. That was, of course, the players here from Psychic now just battling it out. 19 teams still in play. 65 players still alive. Masala Bomb, of course, now starting to close in on the Four Horsemen. Looking at the rest of the zones, you can see the players are actually quite spread out. Kill or die, also now starting to move on in. Right, so it's quite down on the map. Halo, of course, right here. Just trying to rotate out now, make their way on in. Gonna get further in to that zone, of course. You can see just rotating right away from the unknown sovereigns here. We've got the team from this is Sicario already taking up their position over in Krishas, which is of course smack damn center zone. To quite a big portion of the map, they're already being excluded. So we'll be seeing now what these teams are gonna be doing. 
Masala Bomb now trying to see if they can find any appropriate angles. We've got a few more shots actually coming in for Kilo Dai as they're starting to move in from the southern side. Oxygen getting hit by those shots as they fly in there from lag. Good garbage right there alongside him. Trying to get the res in, but of course the shots are flying up from kill or die. See Hunter now just trying to get out of that uh, challenging position. Garbage now starting to move up as well. No crazy defensive players we've seen come from them, of course. But, uh, well, yeah, Masala now turning up the aggression. Moves in and finds that hit straight into garbage. Hunter now all on his lonesome. As Masala start moving up, there was actually a really decent position to be in. Puts a few shots in towards Grim. Oh, there we go. One down, three more to go. Oh, but just caught out in the doorway. I'm trying to quickly dip into the urinal there as the players start moving in. Oh, up comes the shots. Moves out of position. And down he goes. There we go. Masala Bomb now sending them right back into the lobby. But of course, the players here from Sicario, they've also now started to rotate on up right alongside the players here from Death Row. As you can see those hits already now starting to fly on in. Up they come. Shots going straight in to Talib. The Lazarus now just holding up on the corner. We've got a Heavenly... Just patiently waiting on the side, and of course now Mac moved in to try and get that res, that nade landing once again. Logic now starting to put a few shots in as well as you can see over towards Kill or Die in the kill feed, but the action now just going down here between the death row team and of course the players from Sicario. Up they come pushing in bit by bit, the shots are starting to fly. Lazarus just patiently waiting on the side of the building there in that little notch, but finds a few beautiful hits. Up comes Mac now. We'll be able to recover this. No. Runs right into the lobby. Down they go. Beautifully played here by Sicario. Let's quickly jump over towards Sticker Bomb. As you can see, they're also getting pretty close to one of the uh, contending teams here. This, of course, being the last remaining hopeful for the team from the Coochie Kings. The Molly is now coming in. Sandstorm just managing to evade the damage. They're, of course, hard on his heels. Starting to push in over towards Sandstorm. Up comes... The, oh, well, the lobby. Up comes the lobby. Down he goes right back. Now we've got the players here from Psycho, of course, starting to move on in. You can see Kilo die just up ahead of them. And, of course, the players from Masala bomb off in the distance. Kilo die sitting on two remaining players. This, of course, being Miss Jones and G.I. Joe. Miss Jones now just getting absolutely obliterated. Up comes the team now. G.I. Joe, the last remaining hopeful. Sends down a few utilities just to try and obstruct them. Oh, but the hits come in. Kill or die went the die route. A few stray shots are coming in there from a Masala Bomb across over that waterway. The players here from Sukari, of course, now moving up once again. Victrix are just up ahead of them. The victory slowly but surely starting to make their way on down. Got a few teams still held up over in the south. Waiting to see whether or not they're going to start rotating on in. Of course, well, that will be determined by the next coming zone. Players here from Psycho seems like they want to get on in to that zone as they start with their rotations already. Heading into a more centralized positioning in that zone. You can see the drop, of course, just over towards that western side. Deciding to take up this positioning in these compounds. Logic now just trying to move up that vehicle. Oh, that zone, of course, now shifting up ever so slightly over towards the north. We've got the team here from Jinchiriki. 
Now moving up as well, just a little bit north of the position we were in just now. So, a little bit north. Not a lot north. <laughs> Let's jump over towards Sticker Bomb and see what they've got. They're, of course, still pretty, pretty close over towards the team here from the Unknown Sovereigns. As you can see, they're just off in the distance there. They seem to be heading south. That's weird, because the zone is the other way. Well, either way. Let's say, uh, let's say the vehicle is parked over in that direction. All right, let's jump back over towards Victrix. As you can see, them now closing in on the Halo team. Halo right there up ahead of them. So Matt just patiently waiting. Not pushing up just yet. Not taking any of these engagements. Trying to move in. Just trying to squeeze on up there. He's got a better chance of actually finishing them off. But it could also be a very risky rotation. If he gets knocked at this point, it is kind of done for the rest of the team, as you can see, of course, situated over towards the south. Instead of over on the western front where he's moving on in from. can see everyone now just taking up their positions no crazy rotations coming in just yet everyone just waiting for this blue zone to finish on up so you can see where the next zone is going to be taking us but of course screenshots we see the teams just getting closer and closer Matt not necessarily taking that initial engagement there. A good bag over here, of course. Also just keeping a watchful eye. But aside from this, there's nothing else happening. All right. Well, ooh, never mind. There we go. Psycho starting a few shots. Taking a few ranged hits there. Putting them across over towards the players there from ammo. As you can see, just off in the distance, has actually moved up behind Sicario. Ooh, down goes Tokyo. Angry seems quite relaxed. Halo now eventually getting hit there by the Victrix team as they start opening fire. Stop putting those hits across. Never hide, of course, now hiding behind the rock. So maybe he's not hiding, he's just uh, obscuring uh, the visibility. Hmm. Those nades now starting to come in. Ooh, up they come. Ooh, look at that nade. Wow, that one was scary close. Skara just putting that one in, but of course now we got Don and Cheetah still remaining. Of course, that first bit of utility. The players from Psycho also now starting to move on in. Angry getting yet another hit in now. Let's see, will Don be able to get this one done or will he get hit in the process? Quite a bit of movement happening over towards that side as well as you can see the players. Oh, Rez moving up. The players there from the Unknown Sovereigns just off in the distance. Don trying to pop in a few hits, but of course they're taking damage in the process. Never hide, getting hit once again. And up comes that nade. Now you know why you're not supposed to be hiding. Because if Angry is nearby, well, he's going to send a lovely nade your way. Let's see now, will the players from the Unknown Sovereigns here be able to hold up against the attack coming in there from the Psycho team? Striker trying to pop off a quick few shots. So Titus now actually moving up as well. Taking position in the window. Ooh, 
Ghost trying to find the shot striker. Ooh, down goes Ghost. To us up on the hillside. Beautiful shot coming in there from striker. But of course, he's got two players over towards Ooh, the south that he needs to be worried about. As you can see, that shot now just finding its way across. Psychedelic now moving up as well. Slowly, surely, the team here from psycho starting to apply the pressure a few ranged hits now coming in there from Russ. a few teams actually now starting to hit up as well as that zone has shifted up once again over towards this northwestern side who angry now coming in right behind them in with a few third parties right there and Holgen Power actually getting those hits in towards the players from the Jinchuriki team as you can see them of course just trying to make their way away from here Psycho now still getting stuck in this fight two players remain We've got the Tika Bomb team now also starting their engagement putting some shots over towards the Masala Bomb team Another player right here next to them. This, of course, being the last remaining player there for Final Four. Well, the only one that started this match out. Skuku now starting to put a few shots in as well as they start pushing up over towards the imposters. Let's see, will our friend there from Final Four make it all the way up in towards that Final Four? So far, we've got 13 teams remaining, so quite some way still to go to make it all the way in to that last place. Ooh, we've got some utilities getting sent up once again. Masala Bomb now using this opportunity to move around. Down goes Tesla as well as Lug. Akib now tries to step in, gets a quick thirst going there. Good Murs and Levo now moving up as well. Ooh, Murs really now pushing up. A little bit of a jump shot around the corner and finds the hit. Down they go. You see the Masala Bomb team now also just moving up alongside them. Ooh, up comes the hit. Skuku now still left with two players off in the distance. Masala Bomb now applying the pressure. Finding the hit straight on in towards them, but the third body shots are also finding the way up. Down goes the imposters. Skuku now still on their two players, and our final four player just holding up on the side here. Not getting stuck into that engagement just yet. Solomon now moving up. Oh, there we go. Springing a little bit of a trap there on them, putting those first few shots right in towards Riri. Lag now moving up as well. You can see Psycho now getting hit down. Goes Benel. So Jin Chiriki getting sent off into the lobby as well as that player from Final Four. So we are with that now down to our final 10 teams. As you can see, that zone also now shifting up over towards that northwestern side once again. So very consistent shifting coming in here from the zone. That first initial one, of course, being pretty crazy. The logic now just trying to rush on into zone. Got a little bit of distance to cover. But of course now just trying to heal up in the meantime as well. Ooh, there we go. We might have the Victrix team actually moving up right here alongside the players from the Natural Killers. See them just up on the hill. Genocide also still in play just over towards the south. 
So bit by bit, these teams are getting closer and closer together. Beast now starting to make a rotation up as well. The last remaining player therefore respected. Oh, striker falling off of a height somewhere. Not the most ideal way to be rotating up, but I guess it probably worked. Right, so now starting to take up that angle just in the little shack, holding up in that zone. Of course, the Masala Bomb team trying to get those shots over across towards the players there from Genocide. As you can see, Big Papa, of course, getting knocked out in the process. Ooh, let's see now, Lag just trying to rush on into zone. Victrix up on the hill, tries a quick M24 shot. Oh, down he goes. Matt just finds the hits and sends him backing. A few more shots now. Still trying to find their way across over towards the players here from Genocide. Let's try, they try to get on into the zone. Cassie now the last remaining player for the team here. Draco getting taken down in the process. Not quite sure what Cassie is doing, but well, there they go. See Logic now just right here alongside the two remaining players from the Skooka team. Look at nine teams still alive. You see that zone still just holding up in the corner. The players slowly but surely starting to make their way towards that. Victrix now just searching the area here for Cassie. So far, Cassie has been able to evade their detection for the time being. Ooh, but not being able to evade the blue zone, though. Absolutely brutal damage coming in there from the blue zone. See the Victrix team just there off in the distance, now getting hit by the blue zone. Got about 50 seconds or so remaining on the clock until the zone starts shifting up once again. Logic now still just holding up behind them. Not moving into the open just yet. The engagement now coming in between the players from the natural killers and of course the team from victrix shout now the last remaining hopeful is trying to smoke it up so he can get those razors going but the great nades now getting sent upstairs pushes into that far corner down goes Sela. nova still just bleeding out oh Beautiful defense from Shroud, but that wasn't enough. The nades just find their way on in and sends him backing right into the lobby. We got Beast now trying to get a few shots over towards the players here from the Resurrection team. Six teams now remain. As you can see, the players from Resurrection taking quite a bit of damage. The team here from the Unknown Sovereigns also starting to make their approach. We're in a bit of a tricky position, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if Psychedelic and Striker will be able to make it all the way up that ridge. But they're definitely gonna try, I can promise you that. Logic now taking position right here behind Skuku. Flash caught out in the open. So far, the players here from Psycho looking pretty decent, sitting on nine kills so far for the round. We've got a Yaz here for Skooku, just patiently when he's got some eyes in on Logic. Just waiting now for the opportune moment to put those hits in. You can see 12 players still remaining. So that's about an average of two players per team. But of course, as you can see, we've got the team there from the Unknown Sovereign still sitting on a full squad. We've got the Resurrection team sitting on a full squad of three. Ooh, the numbers are starting to drop bit by bit. As that blue zone is now starting to do its thing. Just inching that damage in towards the players. Logic now getting ready to move on up. Moving up box by box. 
And see Victrix also now coming in behind Skuku. There we go. Logic now starting his dash into that zone. So they've seen the explosion now. Let's see, will they be able to find Skuku Beast also right here alongside them? Just holding up in his little shack there. Trying to stay alive as long as he possibly can. So Logic has been spotted. The shots are starting to fly in. Ooh, Titus almost running straight into that nade. So Logic now just holding up right there behind the rock. Sends off yet another one. Fortunately for Titus, he wasn't within reach. There we go. Logic now moving up once again. We got the player from Victrix just up ahead. Ooh. Down goes Victrix. The rest team just putting the shot straight into them. Skooky now just lying right here alongside Logic. Ooh, he's going to get shot in the back. Completely oblivious and down he goes. The players here, of course, from the Unknown Sovereigns also getting hit in the process. So four teams now remain. Trying to battle it out for the last chicken. Control of this last zone. You can see Beast now holding up on the side. Hogan Bauer trying to pop in a few shots. They're just breaking down the door for him. He doesn't have to worry too much about that. Down a good psychedelic now. But a Yas gets caught out in the open there by Holgen Power. So three teams remain. 1v2v3. V3. Oh, Beast gets spotted out. Oh, tries to jump out and of course gets caught in the transition there. Oh, so Titus now starting to get a few hits coming in. So Titus now the last remaining player for his team. You see Rez now starting to move on in. Oh, Titus getting caught out in the open. That M24 just landing its way straight across over towards him. Up comes Rez now. You can see Nugget on the one side. Oh, and that is enough to send the players from the Unknown Sovereigns into second place. But of course, the players here from Resurrection finishing off their play with 13 kills and a chicken dinner. Team from the Unknown Sovereigns in second place with three kills. We got the, re the respected team finishing in third with four kills. And of course, Skuku finishing in fourth with four kills. Psycho with nine kills in fifth place. We got Victrix finishing up with 10 kills in sixth. We got the players coming in from the Natural Killers with one kill in seventh. We got Angry and Teammates. Can't remember which team that was, but here they are over in eighth place with seven kills. Genocide in ninth. We got the Masala Bomb team finishing up with five kills in 10th place. We got Final Four with that 11th placement. We got the players, of course, from Jinchiriki finishing up in 12th place. We got the Ticker Bomb Imposters team in 13th place with five kills as well. Halo finishing up in 14th. We got the Sicario team finishing in 16th place. With, uh, sorry, 15th place with 4. Kilo die in 16th place. We've got the team here. Again, I can't remember the name. Um, that is uh, De Deadly and Teammates in 17th. we got the Death Row team in 18th place. We've got the 4 Horsemen with 7 kills in 19th. we got the players from... Da, da, da. Well, Juicy and Teammates. Again, not sure who that is. Over in 20th. We got the agent team in 21st. We got the rotators in 22nd with one. And of course, Mafia with three in 23rd. So, well, yeah, there we go. There we have it. That brings us to the end of our first matchup. Of course, as mentioned, we're heading into the Miramar map next. So be sure to stay tuned. Of course, we'll be bringing you that action. But in the meantime, give us your predictions. Who do you think is going to be clutching it out on the Miramar map? Of course, we'll see how accurate those predictions are once we get into the next one. But of course, see you after the break.
What's up, guys? Welcome back. Right, so we're getting ready to move into our second match for the evening. Of course, heading straight on over in towards Miramar. So, hope you got your popcorn and everything ready. We're going to be in for a bit of variety here, seeing what the teams are going to be doing on the Miramar map. It is ever so slightly bigger than what we just saw on the bikini map. So, well, yeah. With that having having said all that, let's jump into the match and see which teams we have in the lobby. Right, so here we go, here we go. Got the players from Respected over in slot one. We've got the Resurrection team over in slot three. We've got the Agent Esports team over in four. Mafia in five. Kilo Die in six. The Rotators in seven. We've got the Death Row team over in slot eight. We've got Genocide over in nine. We've got the Halo team in slot ten. We've got the Natural Killers over in twelve. We've got the Jinchuriku team over in slot thirteen. We have the Unknown Sovereigns over in 14, over in 15. We've got Wolf back in 16. We've got the players from Ammo in 17. We've got the players from the Kuchi Kings. We've got the players from the Escapade supposed to be over in 18. We've got Psycho in 19. The Four Horsemen in 20. Sicario in 21. Masala Bomb over in 22. Skuku in 23. We've got the players from the TKB Imposters in 24. And then, of course, Victrix Mortalis over in slot 25. 23 teams in the lobby. And the Flight Bluff, Flight Bluff, oh, <laughs> is bringing us in just south of Campo Militar. And, of course, making its way all the way across over towards Los Higos. So very suddenly flight path here, but of course, well, we'll see where the teams are going to be reaching over towards and where that first zone is going to be forming. It'll be quite interesting to see what they're going to be doing. And potentially, we might have some early game engagements actually coming in. So yeah, give us your predictions. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out. Who is going to get that chicken dinner on the Miramar map? I see a few messages in the chat where they say... Uh, well, Holly says her bet is on res. Uh, we got Chite. I'm going to go with that. Not the other one that it's supposed to sound like. Says all bets on Psycho for the next game. Uh, so Titus, of course, saying the Unknown Sovereigns might surprise everyone. So yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give us your predictions. Let us know if any of those predictions are correct. If not, give us some of your own. And if you've not already considered doing so, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, leave us a like alongside your comment. So you can see everyone now starting to make their way on down. Quite a few teams actually heading off into that Los Leones region. As well as a few teams up in Tierra Bronca, just south of Campo Militar. Surprisingly, Chu Masera is actually quite quiet. We might have two teams also touching down over in Pagada. So let's get into the action and see what these teams are going to be doing. Who is going to get the dub? Alright, so there is quite a bit of space at the moment between the players here from the respected team as well as the players there from the natural killers. But that can, of course, change in a moment. Let's quickly jump up to the players here now from the Four Horsemen and the TKB Miss... Or Imposters. I don't know what I was going for. Both teams, of course, touching down right here in San Martin. Quite a big exposed region to be moving about in. that zone as you can see of course sitting all the way down over in the southeastern region Ooh, let's jump up into this sicario might actually start pushing in no they're heading off in the opposite direction actually moving away from the water treatment site quite a bit of movement still happening as all the teams are trying to get established in their positions you can see that northwestern portion of the zone of course completely open Nice spread of teams coming in from that northeast all the way down over towards the southwestern side. Right, so we got Juicy and Teammate, of course, now moving about just on the side here. With the players there from the Wolfpack just up ahead. Juicy and Shroud now just making their way around. We got Roshi now, of course, moving up on the opposite end alongside Nova. Ooh, 
they're getting closer and closer. Beast, of course, are already having taken a bit of damage. Nothing major just yet. We've got a nice concentration of teams up in the north as well as teams over here in Las Leones. So San Martin and Las Leones seems to be the two spots to be. If you want to be getting into any of that action. Right, so for the time being, a lot of rotations, but no engagements just yet. See the players there from the four horsemen taking up position in the compounds just over towards the west. The imposter is still just trying to gain entry into the region here moving in slowly but surely now from that west uh, rather eastern side and of course the team here from the Gucci kings also making their way across heading up in uh, towards hacienda del patron Right, so, so far, everything is going exactly as expected on a Miramar map. Very slow and passive start. Teams all making their way around, getting their loot going. But of course, hopefully, once we move into the next one, the next phase, that is, teams will really start getting stuck into the action, start pushing in on those engagements and get this party started. For the time being, as you can see, of course, everyone is still pretty much alive and present. We haven't seen any knocks, no kills, no teams getting sent off in it to any direction. But that could potentially change as the players over here from the Kuchi Kings are starting to make their way around. Well, not if that happens. I see Sotitis now moving up. Not sure where they're going to be heading on or off into, but we'll find out soon enough. Ooh, it is getting pretty close. And jam-packed over here in San Martin. You see Overwatch, of course, now just... Uh, he's so excited. Just jumping his way on in. Ooh, there we go. Juicy starts it off. Puts the first few shots right in. Down it goes Grud. And see, will Logic be the next one to go? Will Juicy find yet another hit? The Logic now just patiently lying in wait. Quite literally. There we go. Juicy now rotating off into the distance. We got Agent and the rest of the team here from Wolfback now moving on into position. Nova putting a quick shot in towards the rest team. Oh, the four horsemen also starting their engagement. See Juicy now on the approach. Oh, there we go. Shots fly up towards Shroud. Shots flying up towards Juicy as well. Oh, not finding the hits just yet. Well, the vehicle definitely just got exploded. Shroud now dropping down. Trying to get over towards Juicy. But the players here, of course, from the four horsemen... Just battling it out over in San Martin. Here we go. Ooh, it seems like it's quite a bit of a fight happening here. So we've got the team from the Rotates. We've got the Four Horsemen. We saw some shots also coming in there, of course, from the players. Ooh, that being the team right here. The imposters. Right, but quite a bit of action, of course, going down over here in Los Leones. As the teams are in such close proximity. You can hear a few VSS shots actually being fired up here from Logic. 
Let's see, will he find the aim over on Wolf? Ooh. Absolutely speedy fire rate right there by the VSS. I'm, of course, being quite sarcastic. Not going exactly as planned. I see Juicy, of course, not just quickly trying to recover as much health as possible. Well, the team here from Wolfpack starts making their way around. Applying the pressure bit by bit. Ooh, there we go. A few more hits now starting to fly up. Logic still just patiently waiting. Ooh, finds a few hits in towards Wolf. Seems like Wolf is now starting to make his way out of that position. So we can jump up here to the natural killers as they of course also battling it out. The rotators also now getting hit as well. Hit after hit now finding its way all across the map. Good action up over in San Martin. We got two spots of action. Of course right here in Los Leones. As you can see the wolf back now starting to move in. Logic just up ahead of them. Trying to get out of town. Oh, just manages to duck in behind that ridge. Let's quickly jump over in towards San Martin to see what is going down between the players here from the imposters and, of course, the players from the rotators. So Sham already taking a few shots across. You see King and Grizzly just patiently holding up on the side there. Ooh. But there we go. The heads find their way over towards Sham. Down he goes. We've got another team now starting to move in as well from that eastern side. The two teams already battling it out and up comes the players here from Sicario making their way on in. Pushing up into those uh, deep positions within the San Martin region. Oh, but the hits now start blinding their way across as well. Heading straight on up in towards the imposter. So they're about to get caught in a very tough sandwich. As we've got teams moving in from both sides. But of course the rest team also now putting in a few shots right over here. We've got Victrix right here alongside them. You can see Mr. Roth there getting knocked out in the process. Thick bag and a mat of course not just there for a little bit of support. Getting their vehicle ready. Let's see, will they be able to make that rotation without that vehicle getting blown up? Well, there we go. The first attempt not coming in for that rotation. Oh, the heads find their way on up. Oh, and it gets stuck. Oh, <laughs> absolute chaos now just flying in. Matt, now the last player. Remaining for the team here as the race players have just put in head after head. You see them all now starting to drop down one by one. Leonidas, of course, already coming in with that push, moving straight up towards them. Fortunately, they are being hidden by the smoke just ever so slightly. But of course, as soon as that dissipates. It's going to be a whole lot of trouble for all the players here from Victrix. Maximus, of course, now starting to move up as well. Up comes Rig, or, or Jigsaw rather, alongside Nugget, just pushing on in over towards them. Denied is trying to suppress them as well. Oh, up they come, the shots starting to fly up. Up comes a beautiful nade exploding right in front of Jigsaw. Oh. The 
shots now coming in from all directions as leonidas finds a great few shots in thick now trying to drop down thinking that will stop the push coming in from the rest team but of course now you can see maximus is already pushing forward while thick is destructed there by jigsaw nugget down they go getting sent right back into the lobby but of course while well, we are far from out of the woods three teams battling it out over here in san martin so got a halo now also rolling into position the rotators still battling it out here with sigario and then of course the players from the imposters also right here alongside them You can see quite a few shots actually are starting to come in in that kill feed as well as the players are battling it out right over here in Los Leones. The wolf back taking quite a bit of damage. Wolf now trying to move in for that res but Rushi is on the approach. Look at Nova keeping a very watchful eye. Logic just holding up in the distance there as well. Ooh, Corey was just exposed there but Rushi didn't see Corey. So Nova now just patiently sitting there, relaying information over towards the rest of the team. As you can see, Juicy now also starting to take position right there on this side. Everything now down to Kari. Oh, up comes Rashi. A little bit of a jump shot and a fish through the smoke finds their heads and sends them right back. Got a little bit of action up on that western side as well as well down as well as down here over in Puerto. Players from Agent. Very, very close to that zone. We've seen a few shots coming in between them and the players from Genocide. But it seems like they're gonna start moving in to the zone itself. Of course, over in San Martin, the players are still just trying to make their way up towards zone. Sicario getting ready to head on out. The players, however, here, as you can see from the rotators, well, they haven't started rotating up just yet. Slowly but surely starting to move on in. We've got the players here from Mafia, of course, over in Picardo. Now having a visit here from the Jinchuriku team as they start moving up as well. Oh, Kilo Dai getting hit in the kill feed. You see Miss Jones, G.I. Joe, and Fairy. Now the three remaining players here as the rest team start pushing up. Here we go. You can see Nugget and Maximus. Moving on in, trying to find an appropriate position to fight from Genesis, or rather Genocide. Putting a few shots there in towards Agent as well. G.I. Joe keeping a watchful eye on the corner now. Ooh, but the battle is just going down here between Apex, or Agent rather, and the Genocide team. The shots are flying in from Gassy. Ooh, they're coming in. One hit and Gassy is back to the lobby. Wow, that is just super, super fortunate. Strike or Psych rather, not managing to find the heads right in just yet. Cassie now using this opportunity to quickly recover the health. Here we go, down goes Zeus. So we've got Psych and teammate, of course, still remaining up ahead. Cassie now trying to make a quick dash on up into a zone, but the shots are flying in. All right, so there we go. Everyone now making a quick dash. The players here from Kilo Die still here alongside the players from the rest team. You see the Nox, of course, just up ahead. So Nugget trying to get the res in on Maximus. 
Look at Jigsaw now keeping a vital eye over into the distance. Not quite sure who they're shooting at. Oh, blowing up the vehicle. There we go. All right, well, in the meantime, let's we jump back over towards the Jin Churiki team. As they are making their way around the casino now. Still holding up here alongside the players from Mafia, I believe that is. Yes. So 20 teams still remain almost 20 minutes in. Mm. It's going to be so, so crazy once these teams start getting into closer proximity. And of course, you can see that already starting to happen here between Sicario and the Skooka team. Utilities now, of course, getting sent across. Will they reach all the way? Oh, beautiful bounce coming in on that first initial nade. Tokyo not trying to lay down the fire, but of course the shots are just flying across. Stairs like getting knocked out in the process. Look at Cheetah and Tokyo now left to defend, but of course Tokyo just trying to put in those warning shots. Keep them at bay. Well, Cheetah is trying to get that race going, but of course with that down goes Tokyo. Don, of course, getting raised up in the process. First needs to recover a little bit of health before starting any of these engagements. We got Tesla now pushing up yet another nade, finding its way across. Oh, Tokyo really close to that one. Tesla right there on top of them. The shots flying in. Sahil now also moving in. Oh, down goes Cheetah. Everything now riding on Tokyo. Oh, he had meds left. He had meds. He didn't use them, but he had them. <laughs> Oh, that was quite the hot and spicy fight. Of course, you can see the players now all starting to make their way on in. Quite a big region of Los Leon still included within the zone. Expecting quite a bit of chaos to be coming from that region. Players here from Reds and Kilo Dice still alongside each other. Still just battling it out. But of course, they're going to start feeling the pressure pretty soon. If they continue this fight, they're going to start drawing in more and more attention. And of course, the opposing teams are going to start moving in to those exact same positions. You see Skara, of course, now here just getting knocked out as the team they were pushing up against. Being the players there from Jin Churiki getting taken down in the process and getting sent right back into the lobby. Quite a bit of fighting happening still up in the north here. You see the Skooka team now moving up once again. Oh, and of course sending the players from Mafia right back into the lobby. We've got the team here from Death Row, of course, now also moving in to position. The natural killer is actually in a very strong position up on that ridge. Having quite a bit of oversight. I see Juicy now just trying to capitalize on it and put the shots in as well. Oh, down goes the players from Genocide. Beast actually now stepping up with a few shots of his own. The 16 teams still remain nearly 24 minutes into the zone. A few rotations also now starting to come in. The players are inching their way up in towards that zone. The Masala bomb team actually now moving up as well. You just hear those shots flying in towards their vehicle. Trying to move in behind some hard cover there. Nova getting knocked out in the process as well now.
So 16 teams still remain. Of course, you can see quite a few of them still positioned over in the southern portion of the zone. The team here from the natural killers just now trying to capitalize their position. Ooh, the Masala Bomb team also now just putting in a few shots there over towards Beast. Masala Bomb now moving up as well. Oh, the hits fly in from Juicy. Good logic also now rotating on up. Mr. Grimm not getting hit as he's heading up the side. Nova actually moving up to greet him. Ooh, Beast right on the edge there, battling it out. But it's not enough. Oh, the team there from Death Row also starts pushing in on that same position as where we see the see the see the team yeah. from respected holding this angle right here. Oh, gunfight now just erupting across the map. Halo finding in another shot. You see them right here on the edge as well. Rushing now sending quite a few utilities across over towards the players there from the resurrection team. You can see quite a bit of movement as all the teams are trying to make their way on up in toward that zone. But of course, a few of them don't want to risk their positions just yet. Only got about 45 seconds or so remaining on the clock before those rotations need to come on in. The players here from the Kuchi Kings, of course, just putting the shot straight in towards Halo. So one of the players getting sent back in to the lobby. The Death Row team also now just applying a little bit of pressure over towards Respected. Halo now actually putting up a little bit of a defense. They've only got one player remaining right there on the front of the Gucci Kings. Ooh, down they go. So Halo now down to two remaining players. The team there, of course, from the Natural Killers also starting to move closer and closer to the position of the rest team. So Kilo Dai has actually already rotated. As you can see, they've actually made their way on up over towards that northwestern side of the zone. The blue zone now starting to move forward. The teams are going to start dropping like flies now. Most of them don't have any vehicles to their disposal or at their disposal. You see Juicy now already getting that rotation done. Oh, Death Row now getting hit by the shots. The players there from Respected trying to put in a few hits as many as they can. The rest team of course now just holding up on the edge of zone. So many players up ahead of everyone. Oh, absolute carnage now just erupting all over the map. Especially over in the southwestern corner. Just look at this. Wow. The rotators putting in the shots over towards the Gucci Kings. And of course, the rest team still just holding up quite strong on the edge here. You can see the players there from Rez just getting eaten up by that blue zone. Killer die actually now starting to move in from the western side. Got Rashi, the last, well, one of the last remaining players for the natural killers. So we've seen quite a big drop in teams. Down to seven we go. Three of the teams right in front of us, right in front of us here. Down goes Rochi. Oh, Skuku now just battling it out right here on the northern edge of the zone. Hits flying up. Kill or die down to the last remaining player. The rotators now moving up over on that western side as well. A few utilities getting sent across and Juicy actually gets hit by a beautiful nade coming in there from Sham. Oh, the rotators now also getting hit. Up comes the rest team inching their way on up into zone. Mrs. Jones taking damage. Down she goes. Halo now making a pretty aggressive push into zone. Grizzly. The last remaining play here for the Rotators. Let's see, will he be able to defend this position as the rest team? And of course, the TKB imposters are still alive. But of course, they are battling it out. Oh, down goes Sham. Grizzly now starting to run for his life. 
Cuckoo now also making up, making their push rather, coming in from the north here, taking aim over towards Halo as they are trying to outrun that blue zone. Oh, but the damage is just too much. They can't make it in. Three teams now remain. Rez, the Rotators, and Skuku. Oh, there we go. The first two shots start flying across over towards Tesla. Oh, but the Rotators are caught right in the middle of this mess. Final zone sandwich coming in. Oh, down they go. So it is now Skuku up against the rest team. See all those utilities not just getting sent across. Here we go. The engagement's not coming in as rest starts pushing in towards Skuku. Maximus leading the assault. Up he comes. Tesla very loud. Down he goes. Everything now riding on a Yaz. Will Ayaz be able to clutch this one out? Nugget getting knocked out in the process. Leonidas comes in and Ayaz a little bit too slow to react. But of course the players there from Res finishing off their play with 14 kills alongside that chicken dinner. The Skooker team coming in as you can see there with 12 kills in second place. The Rotators finishing up with 8 kills in third place. The Halo team with 3 kills in fourth place. We got the TKP imposters finishing up in fifth place with five kills. Kill or die finishing with one in six. We got the natural killers finishing up with ten kills in seventh place. Then of course the players here from Respected over in eighth place finishing off there with five kills. We got the team coming in from... I can't remember this name. I know when I see it I know who it is but now I can't remember. But here they are. Nonetheless, that is Deadly and Teammates with two kills in ninth place. We got Angry and Teammates with six kills in 10th place. Then, of course, the Death Row team in 11th place. We've got a Glitch there from somewhere. Can't remember. In 12th place, we got Agent Esports in 13th with five. We got the Psycho team in 14th place. The Masala Bomb team in 15th. And of course, the Unknown Sovereigns finishing up in 16th place. We got the Genocide team in 17th. We got Mafia in 18th. We got the players here from Jinchiriku uh, in 19th place. We got Sicario in 20th. We got the Wolfpack in 21st. The Victrix team in 22nd. Of course, the four horsemen getting sent back to the lobby first. All right, so well, there we go. There we have it. That brings us to the end of the Miramar map. Next up, we're going to be heading over towards Irangel. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys back after a very short break.
What's up, guys? Welcome back. Right, so we're heading into our final matchup for the evening. Of course, heading straight on over in towards that Irangle map. So, well, without much further ado, let's jump straight on in and see which teams we have in the lobby. Right, so of course, as you can see there, we've got the players from the respected team over in slot one. We've got the resurrection team over in slot three. We've got the players from agent over in four. We've got kill or die in six with the rotators in seven. The death row team over in eight. Genocide in nine. We've got the halo team in ten. We've got the natural killers in twelve. We've got the players from Jinchuriki over in 13. We've got the Unknown Sovereigns in 14. We have the players from the Wolfpack over in 15. In 16, we have Ammo, the team. Also then, of course, in the slot 17, being the Coochie Kings. We've got the players from the Escapades over in 18. We've got Psycho over in 19. Four Horsemen over in 20. Sicario in 21. Masala Bomb in 22. Skuku in 23. We've got the TKB Imposters over in the slot 24. And then, of course, the Victrix team over in slot 25. You can see that flight path coming in from the Soznovka military base and making its way over towards that western side. It's a very southerly flight path once again coming in. So let's see where the teams are going to be going. And of course, where that first zone is going to be forming. Of course, you can give us your predictions in the chat. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out. And of course, well, let's see how good you are at predicting where the zone is going to be ending. Of course, hit us up in the chat. Let us know what your thoughts are. And well, we'll see how that one goes. For the time being, we have two teams actually heading in towards Sosnov. Actually, three teams heading into Sosnovka military base itself. So that is going to be super interesting. It's Sicario and Psycho latching down over there at the sea buildings. And of course, Halo pushing all the way south towards uh, well, the radar tower. So a few more teams heading off towards the northern portions. Skuku actually starting to head south. But let's see what is going to be happening here between Sicario and, of course, the players here. Right there alongside them from Psycho. So for the time being, no engagement. Both teams trying to get a lay of the land. Trying to figure out where the opponents are. They've seen them drop down with them. But of course, for the time being, no direct line of sights just yet. Seems like Psycho actually getting to rotate on off. But off goes Russ and Twist. Ooh, the first few shots flying in here from Cheetah. Right, aside from that, nothing else really majorly happening. The squeaky jump up in towards Malta. As you can see, you've got two teams dropping down here as well. you got ammo right here alongside the Death Road squad. And then, of course, Red is just off over in the distance there, over towards that northwestern side. The shots now already starting to fly across. So they throw now just taking up position in the building. Not spreading out too much just yet. But the same can't be said for the players here from Ammo. They're actually taking up a very decent spread there. Got Gig Boy and Skara holding up in the one building. Angry up against the side. Dexter moving in towards that similar kind of positioning. Oh, there we go. The shots starting to fly in. The kill feed as well. Four horsemen getting caught in a bit of trouble there. As you can see, garbage, of course, not just drowning.
Ooh, there we go. Dexter sends one off. Molly not really finding its way all the way across. But we've got a bit of an engagement happening over in Pachinki. Two teams right in this position as well. Oh, the shots fly in and down goes Wolf. Only one player remains here. Apex now of Agents starting to move up. Oh, Psych just jumping out of the line of fire there. The Masala Bomb team now putting the shots in towards the four horsemen. Oh, Saint comes up with a beautiful hit. Oh. Here we go, Saint rolling up the side. Oh, finds their hits and sends them off into that lobby. Of course, now quite a bit of action going down over here in South George as well. I see the team here from the Natural Killers taking up position. Victrix just up ahead of them. And off in the distance there, we've got the Masala Bomb also just battling it out. The Victrix team now letting it fly over towards the Rotators. And the players here from the Kuchi Kings just trying to recover some health. The four horsemen down to their last remaining player. That of course being a hunter who is now being hunted. So Hunter now just trying to hide as long as he possibly can. Up comes Grim. Oh, finds him out and sends him packing. No point in hiding too long. As you can see, that zone, of course, now coming in as well. Moving over towards that eastern side. We're waiting to see what these teams are going to be doing. All teams still holding up here in South George. The natural killers now starting to take aim over towards the Victrix players as they're also trying to inch their way over into a little bit of hard cover just off near that bridge. The thick now rotating up over cross towards Matt. Let's see, will thick be able to make it up towards Matt? A little bit of a barrier in the way, but a few hits, of course, now going down over in the uh, Sosnovka base. Was that the base? No, in fact, it's right on the side here. Over in Malta. There we go. Oh, angry now, just laying down the hit. Putting them straight across. You can see Heavenly Demon getting knocked out in the process there by Angry as his teammate gets thirsted. Got Dexter and Scar are now moving up from the far side there. The natural killers putting a few shots in as well over towards Victrix. Down goes Heavenly. We've got Mac, Alpha, and Lazarus actually now just holding up on the edge. Trying to see if they can find any potential angles. Let's quickly try and jump back over into the mess that we've got going on over in South George. The Masala Bomb, they've managed to find a few hits. Of course, sending a team back into the lobby. That was, in fact, the team from oh yep that was victrix see juicy now just enjoying the loot all right let's see if we can jump up in to some more action halo of course now moving on in towards pachinki but of course we've got the players here from agent lying in wait Was not right to the north. We've got a few more teams actually starting to rotate in. You see Genocide right there. And of course, the players from Kill or Die now starting to move up as well. Ooh, it seems like they're heading straight into the compound here. Well, I guess that's probably one way to make your entry into a compound. Doing a little bit of show of skills there with the vehicle. Not quite sure what happened there, but hey. They made it in in one piece. They're still alive. Oh, the shots now flying up towards Halo. As they also start rushing in. 
Up they come. Masala Bomb now putting a few hits in as well over towards the players there from the Gucci Kings. Ooh, up comes Halo. Just crashing the party, running over one of the Genocide players. Draco getting run over. Tyro now just trying to hold up alongside the street, but up they come. Oh! Tries to get the jump in on a Halo, but they get the jump in on him. Really tough one here for the Genocide team. But of course, Kilo die using this opportunity to move on forward. You see the players there from the Unknown Sovereigns also just coming in to render distance. So the fight here might actually start drawing them in as well. So Cassie and a big papa. Now the last two players, of course. Cassie now getting knocked out there by G.I. Joe. Up comes Halo applying the pressure. Jones actually getting caught in the building. Oh, down they go. Now Halo holding up right here at the door. Getting ready to push on in. One squad's already been taken down. Oh, bit of a jump shot. Down goes G.I. Joe. Halo really pushing up super aggressively. Up comes Mrs. Jones. Just Miss Jones. Oh, finds the last one. Oh, but down goes Miss Jones. Halo pulling up a really aggressive push there. Of course, now the players from Agent, they've heard the engagements. They heard the fight. Now they're starting to push on in. See the shots now just flying up there from Psyche. The Jin Churiku team also now starting to put a few hits and we see them there in the kill feed. So Psyche and Blackie now just holding up on the edge. Ooh, Lupin actually managing to find a quick few hits. Oh. <laughs> Right, so 15 teams still remain. Of course, you can see a few teams now starting to make their way on in from that western side, heading on up in towards zone. Skuku, of course, now right here, very close to the players. Just off in the distance there, there from the Jin Chiriku team. Ooh, Psycho now also making their dash on into zone. Crossing right in front of Jin Chiriku. Jin Chiriki. Keep on saying it wrong. Ooh, Shaq's actually crashing. Ooh. Let's see, will Grodd be able to hold them off as they start pushing in? No! Shaq's actually coming up with a quick save off the side. Let's see, will the players here from Jinchiriku... Jinchiriki... Just change your name. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But we'll find out. Dead now just inching his way up towards the rest of the Psycho team. And of course a few shots coming in there from the Imposters as well as the Skooker team. There we go. The Nate now getting sent in. Oh! Just chaotic. Shaq's now the last hopeful dead, moving up pretty decent health. Oh! Shaq just rips right through him, sending him into the lobby. Beautiful defense coming in there. Halo and the players here from Agent, of course, still doing their little battle right here on the side. But uh, yeah, the Agent team has now been shrunken down to only one remaining player that of course being saint so don't think he's going to be able to clutch that one out but of course in the meantime the players here from the unknown sovereigns starting to make their way on in as well sneaking around the northern side because you, as you can see a few players still to make their way on in towards zone the escapades of course, now also starting to head in from that zone as well. 
So Halo now starting to explore. Saint. Oh, is about to get completely flanked. Up they come. Oh, the shots fly in and down goes Saint. Not being able to put up enough of a fight. The rest team, of course, now about to see the players here from Respected rotate right past them. Oh, down goes the player there from the Escapades. So Rez now taking up position, as you can see, just on the side of prison. Got a drop overhead. Let's see what these teams are going to be doing. They're slowly but surely starting to run out of time. About 25 seconds or so remain on the clock. Right, so Beast now starting to move on in. We've got Nugget just up ahead of him. But you can see the players there from Resurrection. They've also got their scopes trained in this exact same direction. Actually got Zion behind them. That could be a beautiful flank. Wolf now just moving up as well. But there we go, Zion. About to start taking aim. We might actually see the Sicario team potentially try and push into the compound and that seems like it is what they're going to be doing. Cheetah firing off a quick sneaky shot there. Oh, but the shots just fly in and there's not enough. Wow. Down they go, dropping like flies. Went from a full squad to no squad. <laughs> well played by Rez. That was some easy kills. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not going to complain about that one. Jumping over towards the natural killers here. As you can see, they're battling it out with the death row players just up ahead of them. We've got Alpha on the one side and then, of course, Lazarus on the other. The Psycho team also now putting a few shots in towards the Masala Bomb team. Alpha on the one side. Trying to find the angle. Oh, but Shroud instead sends the head straight over. Lazarus now in a bit of trouble. Tries to send a quick shot in towards Nova. But that first nade now being flung across. Up they come pushing in. And Nova, of course, not just putting in a quick few shots. So Lazarus now trapped up in oh, the doorway here. Puts up a nice hit. A little bit of pre fire, of course. So the natural killer is now starting to move on in. Oh, no, no one just waiting with his eye, or rather, scope trained on that opening. Of course, just putting in some sweet, sweet shots right there. Halo, of course, has got one of their players knocked out in the process. In fact, two of them were knocked. Everyone's gone, gone and get, gotten rest back up again. I don't know what I'm saying today. Whatever. Here we are. But of course, we still see the Resurrection team and the Respected team in very close proximity. They've now taken a 2-2 split. So we've got a Wolf and a Beast on the one side. And then, of course, we've got Zion and Light on the other. Ooh, they're starting to push on out. Will Zion step out and put their heads in? No, he is pretending to be a rock. Yeah, that's a little bit late. <laughs> Dropping down, playing dead. All right, well, in the meantime, we see the players now from the Unknown Sovereigns also trying to make their way on up in towards zone. Coming in from the far western side, you can see the players here from the Impostors just up ahead. Taking the much faster route. And heading straight on in on that western side. The Halo team has now started to rotate in as well. But down goes Mr. 23 in the process. The shots coming in there from Wolf. Beast now getting knocked out in the process. A few retaliation shots flying in from behind. 
Light and Zion now starting to push on in. Let's see, is, right, is Light going to try and rush into this one? Zion finding a quick shot in towards Lufin. Wolf now also starting to move up from the south. Up comes that first nade. Ooh, looks pretty close. Oh, everything now riding in on Light. So Light getting a beautiful knock in once again. Getting the knock and thirst in on 23. Zion actually now rotating up the other side. So up they come, applying the pressure, flanking around the players here from a halo, trying to trap them in. Oh, but Zion getting caught on the side. Faye's not wasting a moment, pushing straight on up. Still have light. Oh, light finds the hit in on Lufin. Faye's now really low, trying to heal up. Let's see what Light is going to be doing. Is he going to try and push on in? So close to getting the wipe. We see the tables turn on the players here from Respected. Or will they be able to get the shots in on Halo? I mean, I was pretty convinced that res Respected was going to get this one. But Halo just managed to hold on to this one just long enough. Fortunately, they are in zone. With nine teams still remaining. And the players from the Natural Killers now moving into position over towards the south as well. So they might miss the opportunity on a few hits here. Ooh, Lufin now not done with the fight just yet. See a few shots coming in from up ahead as well. Ooh, down goes Lufin. Phase now. Returning to the same tree once again. This is going to be a tough one. We've got the natural killers on the one side. And of course, the players from Respected just behind them. As we saw, Lufin was already in line of sight of the natural killers. So Faye's not trying to make a really wide rotation, but of course, their heads find their way on in. Lufin getting spotted out in the process. Pretty sure the action is still drawing in the attention there from the natural killers. There's now 300 meters between phase and the zone. Starting to make that push. It is a quite open region here to run through. Ooh, Seditus now just running over a few players on the way into zone. Quite a bit of a fight now erupting as well over towards the south here. As you can see, Skuku now just trying to get those hits in. Several players in very close proximity. Skara now just trying to get out of the oven. Too much heat. See Skuku right there alongside the Psycho team. The players here from Ammo just trying to hold up in their little compound. Try and get their wounded all back up and healed. But the rest team is making it super challenging as they also start pushing in from the east now. Here we go, Psycho rotating up once again. Down goes Grad. Ooh, those nades now getting sent in over towards the players from Ammo. Shax and teammate now coming up the side. Ooh, those utilities just getting lobbed in. Looking like fireworks. So nine teams remain. All of the nine teams situated all the way down in the south. So FaZe so far managing to escape the pressure coming in there from the respected team. And actually making that rotation up right onto the edge of the zone.
So no one really committing to any of these rotations just yet. But of course it's not needed if you're sending up nades. Like Russ just sent in there. Oh, up comes yet another one. Oh, Skara taking a bit of damage. Angry now left to defend as the players from Psycho start rushing in. Oh, Angry is super low. Dexter steps on in and sends him back. Down goes Psycho. Beautiful defense. But let's see, is that going to be enough? The team from Resurrection now starting to push in. Trying to come in with a third party. The zone having shifted up as well. Kind of forcing them to make this decision. See them now not even wasting a moment. Trying to get directly into the building. But of course the players start jumping out the windows. Down goes Angry Dexter. It's just holding up in the building. Skara also just quickly trying to regain some health. Ooh, Rez now applying the pressure. Keeping on with the action. Just pushing them in. Up comes Nugget in the window. Finds the shot in. But of course gets knocked out. Skara taking a few hits in the process. Ooh. Surprised that there's no nades. The Dexter and Scar are now just trying to hide in the kitchen there. Jigsaw waiting just outside for them. Oh, everything now down to Scar. Jumps out the door right behind the Unitas. Oh, and Jigsaw finds the hits. Wow. Five teams remain. Skuku now taking aim towards the players there from the Natural Killers. We are down to the final five teams. Skuku, of course, moving up into the wizard tower. The race team now need to get the rotations done. Faze still alive, just holding up on the far edge here. The natural killers now starting to push on in, starting to put the shots in towards the Skuku player, Sahil, getting sent in to the lobby. But of course, there we go. Juicy now starting to rush ahead. Seda knocking down the door. The Juicy now just improving the angle here. Coming up the side. See Nova keeping a watchful eye on the players there from the TKB imposters. Everyone now just trying to improve their position. Oh, but the shots now start flying across over towards the ticker bomb team. Oh, up comes Rez. Right below them. Nova taking a little bit of damage. Getting knocked out in the process. The two teams just holding up right here on the edge of the, so of the zone. Faze getting sent back. So we have our final four teams. Skuku, the players from the Natural Killers. We've got the TKB Imbusters. And of course, the players from Rez. The Natural Killers now starting to push forward, trying to get into zone. Sela, of course, leading that push. Shroud hot on his heels. Leonidas and Jigsaw now turning their attention over towards Sela. Oh, but of course, Sham and team now just putting their heads in towards Rez. Skuku trying a few hits of their own. Three players sitting on the Skuku side. Four still sitting for the natural killers. Two for Rez. And four for the imposters. Ooh, Rez now in quite a bit of trouble. Quite exposed as well. Leonidas tries to hide, but it is not enough. The natural killer sends them right back into the lobby. But of course now the natural killers can really, really use this positioning as leverage. You can see them putting in the hits. Tafik now trying to move on up, but just getting hit there by Nova. Juicy, man, it is just insane. Levo now moving up. Sham also coming in. Skuku, in fact, now starting to push up from the opposite end. Rushing in right behind Nova and Juicy. 
Oh, Juicy finds yet another shot. Akib, of course, getting caught in the blue zone. Tesla out in the field. Oh, not a lot of options. The planes there from the TKB. Imposters also just getting caught in the blue. Taking quite a bit of damo damage. But Levo manages to make it in towards zone. Juicy not even giving an opportunity. Just moving straight in. Oh, changing seats and it pays off. Juicy gets the finishing blows and sends them on into the lobby. Right, so here comes Tesla. Oh, getting shot and a juicy seals the deal claims the chicken and that of course goes to the natural killers finishing off with 18 kills alongside it the skooker team coming in second place with two kills you can hear the the victory shots going off in the background the tkb imposters finishing up in third place with two we got the resurrection team finishing in fourth place there were seven kills halo in fifth Coming in with 12 kills. Then also the players from... This is... I'll get it. I'll get it. Give me a second. Ammo. Yeah. Ammo finishing up in 6th place with 5 kills. We got the Unknown Sovereigns finishing in 7th place. We got Psycho finishing off with 7 kills in 8th place. Then of course the team here from Respected finishing off in ninth place with 3. The Death Row team with... One kill in 10th place. Masala Bomb with six kills in 11th. Sicario in 12th place. Then we got Glitch and Teammate. I'm pretty sure this is the... Who is this? The Escapade. There we go. Finishing in 13th. We got the players here from Agent Esports in 14th with three. Then we got the players from the... Jin Churiki team in 15th with one kill or die in 16th with two genocide in 17th. Then we have the players finishing up. I'll get the name. Give me a second. Be patient. I'm going through the list to see. Oh, the Gucci Kings. There we go. Gucci Kings with one kill in 18th. Victrix finishing up with four kills in 19th. The Four Horsemen in 20th. Then, of course, the Rotators in 21st with two. And, well... The players from the Wolfpack getting sent back into the lobby first. So now you see the importance of name tags. I can't figure out what teams are where. But either way, well done. Well played though. The Natural Killers wrapping up the evening there with some very impressive kills. And impressive kill counts nonetheless. All right, yeah, as mentioned, that brings us to the end. So thank you so much for everyone for watching. Thank you to the teams for participating. And of course, be sure to join us back again tomorrow when we get into some Thursday scrims. So yeah, it's either going to be here or on uh, Enigma's Facebook. Either. Either way, which way, you'll find out soon enough. But of course, have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you've not subscribed already, please consider, uh, please consider doing so. <sighs> Yes, it's Monday, Wednesday, same day. All right, have a good evening. See you all later. Uh, I'm just going to play the ad once again.